It's a long season, and most players would be feeling some fatigue. The fielders in this week's top 20 plays are not most players. So for more second baseman, Totsuki Mizuno with a tumble and toss on Mark Payton's grounder gets the fighters out of the inning. Buffalo center fielder Keita Nakagawa almost misplays this hard fly ball, but good luck getting anything over his head. Smart move by Lions rookie shortstop Ryosuke Kodama to throw where his momentum's taking him to third base for the force out and an escape from a bases loaded jam. Been a while since we've seen a double play with only two fielders. This time, Kotaro Kurebayashi from the Buffaloes for the 6-3. Base is loaded and two down, and this weak grounder forces a quick reaction from Atsuki Tomosugi and a long stretch by Koki Yamaguchi. On replay, Kodai Sano is out, and the Marines stem the tide. This Confield Hokkaido's outfield grass hasn't taken too much of a pounding yet, so it's still soft enough for Ryota Isobata to throw himself into this catch. Uh-oh, looks like Takuya Kai bunted too hard. Marine starter Kazuya Ojima barely gets the 1-6-4 double play. I'm sorry, did Buffalo's third baseman Yuma Mune just sidearm this to first in mid-air? Huh. Well, I'll be. Another bunt gone wrong, this time Hawks third baseman Hikaru Kawase charging and firing the shortstop Kenta Imamiya for the force. The throw to Eagles first baseman Toshiki Abe is fine. The throw back to shortstop Itsuki Murabayashi covering third base is better. On replay, Murabayashi held the tag on while the runner was off the base. So that's a 5-3-6 double play. Oh, we had to include this one. Buffalo shortstop Ryoichi Adachi preserves the no-hitter by recovering the deflection off Yoshinobu Yamamoto's glove. And yes, YY would indeed finish that no-no. How low can you throw? Mune and second baseman Shogibo with a limbo-worthy around the horn double play. Marine second baseman Shogo Nakamura is in tough to regain the Golden Glove, but plays like this show he's up to the challenge. Marine shortstop Yudai Fujioka ranges far to his right to bring in Yuma Tongu's grounder, with Yamaguchi making another great stretch on the receiving end. Line second baseman Shuta Tonosaki, the reigning Golden Glove second baseman, somehow gets enough on the throw to Sosuke Genda for the force out. Can't have a highlight reel without the human highlight reel, of course. A tough bounce means it's glove shove time. Back to back Genda plays, this one showing off his actual throwing arm. This is Ryoma Ikeda's second season in the Buffalo's outfield and his first podium in the top 20. A perfect one bouncer to home to keep the Marines off the board.
No, this isn't the head fake catch Eagle center fielder Ryosuke Tatsumi pulled during the series. It's a straight beautiful catch in deep center field. The throw even almost beat Ukyo Shuto the third. And our top play of the week is the human highlight reel completing the hat trick with a pinpoint throw right to Ryusei Sato's glove just before tagging Yuya Gunji out. Like and subscribe for more Pacific League content in English, including our weekly podcast. And catch full games of English commentary on FDF Sports, Tuesday through Sunday at 1pm Eastern.